Hello, everyone, and welcome to AI with Sahini, where we talk about anything and everything AI. If you've been following along on this journey through artificial intelligence, then thank you again and welcome to today's episode. And if you are joining in or tuning for the first time, this is the channel where we talk about artificial intelligence, algorithms, products, concepts, careers, jobs, uh, platforms, laptops. If you are remotely interested in the topic of artificial intelligence, then I'm sure you'll find something of interest or insight into this video. So thank you and welcome again. In today's video, we are going to be covering two very pertinent and very recent topics. First is how to advance your career and how to make sure your LinkedIn profiles or your resumes are updated. And second, we will be learning how to build your own chat GPT-like system. So if any of this is of interest to you, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. So let's get started. As a working professional, it is extremely important to be upgrading and updating our LinkedIn as well as our resumes at least every three to six months. As we gain and more and more experiences in certain domains or in particular skill sets, it is extremely important to have a coherent story. Even if you have worked from project to project to project, it is important to build your experiences and make sure your the, the jargon and the, and the language in your LinkedIn experiences as well as in your resume can speak to it. For this reason, I will be showing you two ways in which you can update your stories and your experiences in LinkedIn as well as your resume using the OpenAI's ChatGPT4. Now, I do want to mention that OpenAI's ChatGPT4, although it's freely available to anybody and everybody to use, it is not always available. So there are times when the availability is low due to too many you know, users you know, logging onto this free platform, in which case the system is not available to you. Or it might require a verification using a phone number, which you are not able to provide. Or for the third reason and very pertinent reason is if you ever use ChatGPT4, all of the data or everything that you use to create that search becomes public knowledge. So you may not want to make your experiences public knowledge, in which case I will then show you the second tool, which is again a freely available software that I have made available through my GitHub channel in order to generate your own experience summaries and build a very near ChatGPT-like system that you can use to then summarize your experiences and fine tune for your purposes. So as a use case today, I'm going to start from my Google Sites website. And as you can see that I have my biography written, but it's pretty long. But I want to make sure that it is concise and it is shortened. And I want to use ChatGPT to do that. So let's see how ChatGPT can be used in order to do just this. So as a first step, I am going to launch ChatGPT. And in the Try ChatGPT, it is going to ask me to log in. Now, I have already created a login with my with my Google ID, and that's what I'm gonna sign up with, all right? And now that I am here, I am going to type in my question. And here, I just copy all of the text, and I put in here. And you see, watch it go. So you've already told it what to do, and then you know, you've know you given it the context, and now it's trying to answer the same question. So as you can see, this becomes the text. The text is about senior manager um, and you, you know who joined the company in 2021 um, and a client facing projects. It, you know, it, it tells me more and more about you know, what I have done. Now you can actually regenerate. If, if you give it the same question again, if you see the result will be different this time. And then you can tell it if it was better or was it worse. And this gives the, the system a little feedback on you know, how it should you know, modify itself. So now this would be a, a better, uh, better outcome of this same experiment, which I can then use on my website or on my LinkedIn page or even on my resume as needed. So now that we have taken a look at how to use OpenAI's ChatGPT, like I mentioned, for various reasons, if it is unavailable to you or for whatever reason you are not, you are unsure if you should even put a search about yourself in ChatGPT, 
how can you create your own chat GPT like system? And again, it is a collaboratory, a, a Google collaboratory code, which is completely free. And you can actually fine tune it to modify the size and the, and the experiences based off of the outcome desired by you. So let's take a look. So for this free tool, we will start with my AI with Sohini notebooks in GitHub. And this free a notebook is already, I, I'm going to be linking it in the description box below. And in order to make a copy for itself, all you will be doing is say open in Colab. And once this opens in, in Colab, you will have to do save a copy in your drive. So that's what you need to do in order to make a copy for the same code in your drive. Now let's see what all are the, are the things that you need to get this system set up. Now, in order to utilize this code, what I will be doing is copy all of this text, which is from my Google sites. And again, in your case, you, it could be from you know, excerpts from your resume, or it could even be you know, excerpts from your, from your LinkedIn page. Just copy it and save it into a, a, a text file. So this text file, I'm calling it about underscore me.txt. So just create this in your Google Drive, or maybe create it as a local notepad and just upload it onto your Google Drive. So that this would be the file that we will be passing to the collaboratory port in order to generate the chat GPT like experience, right? Again, if you face issues in this, in this case, just leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to, to reach out to make sure that this is customized for your experience. Now that you have everything you know, ready, let's take a look at what the code really does for us. So the code, first of all, it is gonna ask you to give it permission to your Google Colab, which you will. And let's take a look at what it does. So in chat GPT like system, and I'm calling it the customized chat GPT system, there are three capabilities. First of all, it is locating a page with the answer. So think of it is when you go to take a test, there are so many pages in the textbook or the multiple textbooks that you actually you know, read through. The first thing, whenever you're trying to answer a question, you try to locate where was that text, which book was it located in, and which pages were the most relevant that had the answer. So whenever that's how your, your brain works, and that is how the attention units or the attention modules for this chat GPT, it has looked at gazillions of um, you know, web pages, text, code, everything. So it is very capable of pinpointing exactly what are the pages that have the answer. Now, in this use case, I am assuming that I'm providing it the page. You know, it, it is one page and all I'm doing is paraphrasing it and summarizing it. So the next two stages that happen is, first of all, summarize the con con, you know, content. So once you have pinpointed with which page has the solution, then you need to, you know, find the gist, find all of the locations that have the answer and then summarize it. And finally, paraphrase or put it in your own words so it sounds more human-like. And what paraphrasing means, it is to put the same sentence in multiple ways. So for instance, for very simple things like the sun is shining today, you should be able to paraphrase and say, it is not windy or it is not cloudy today. The weather is pretty pleasant um, and it is a, a, a great day to go for a walk in. So all these three are paraphrased version of the same sentence, which says the sun is shining today. So now in order for this code for it, for it to work, first of all, we are going to be installing the transformers model. And then we are getting this summarizer, which is called the T5 large. Now, again, if you are using, if you have access to GPU or if you just want to upgrade your system to the GPU, you can say change runtime and, and you know, call the GPU uh, in, in, in here. So once you have you know, GPU access, you should be able to run this T5 large. Again, I have mentioned in the code itself that if you go for the larger versions of the summarizers, your system may crash. And then what I'm doing is I am passing this file, which is called the about me that I just showed you. This about me is the text file that has all of the sentences from my web page. And once I have them, what I do is I just put all of them together. Right. So this is just joining all of these, you know, lines that, that are there in my statement. And finally, I start summarizing. So this is where the T5 uh, large model is doing its job in order to generate a summary that is at least 300 uh, characters and maximum it is about 500 characters. And you can change these, these, these lengths in order to make the outcome look different. 
what you may see is if the if the minimum length is is too large you may get uh, you know a, a lot of garbage text like you can see in here however that's the reason why you need something which is called a paraphraser that will take all of this garbage text and remove it and finally you will be able to see the proper outputs for your situation all right it is stop running and now you'll be able to see all the three versions if you see here in the first version it talks about uh, my my last experience as an entrepreneur and the team for creative ai solutions and what i what i like to do on every single day again the second one starts from the four person team at the startup and again using inter interdisciplinary ai ideas uh, it also talks about my youtube videos research papers all of that and the last one talks about i have a bike background in in ai you know co created with four people and again all of my my skills skill sets that are, that i have so if you can see each and every one of these outcomes are paraphrased versions of the same outcome and even though there was garbage text at the end of this summarizer the paraphraser actually did a pretty good job and here as you add more context as you add more lines or as you restrict your uh, your experiences to to certain certain situations only so if you just add the, you know if you just keep the first two paragraphs and remove the last three you will get a different outcome so modify the about me and every single time you will get different outcomes which you can clearly you know copy and paste into your resume or your linkedin channel in order to get a way better representation of your profile and finally for everybody who is interested in you know fine tuning it even more some of the other methods that can be used i have added links to additional uh, additional components and modules that you could use I hope this video was interesting to you where you can understand what are the different aspects of what a chat gpt like solution requires uh, as you can see this was a very simple case where we didn't have to find or search for multiple pages but typically if you have a chat gpt like system it is strange to go through you know all these web pages find the right pages and then pinpoint the locations of the of the solutions and paraphrase them to give you a better experience i hope you found this video insightful please 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 give this video a thumbs up and share and stay tuned for more